Hello people of the web and YouTube, Deep Gary, welcome back to Hack Time! Whoa! So, okay guys, today I'm back with another SDR video. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you, well, how to install this software-defined radio on your computer. Now, seeing how I got done just recording my last video on this little device, I figured, hey, I might as well make a video on how to install this, just because it's rather really complicated, and plus, I left a link to where you can actually order this thing in my last video, and I'll probably leave a link down below in case you want to order it in, well, this video. And I gotta say, this device is all around really cool and, well, resourceful. But for sure, it is a goddamn pain in the ass to, well, install and get running. And now, in some cases, you may get lucky and get a software driver disk that you can actually just put in your computer and you're good to go. But in my case, I was not that fortunate. So, yeah, I had actually installed the driver via, um, software and I gotta say it's a pain in the ass and if I say I gotta say one more time I'm gonna hit myself in the face but yeah how about we just get to this thing first of all once you got your device you want to well plug it in your computer wait a few seconds for it to well install whatever drivers that are on it onto your computer just know those drivers won't work half the time unless you got one specifically designed for well SDR um, uses, you know, but in my case, mine's meant for satellite TV and SDR, but unfortunately, I gotta remove the one driver in order to use the one function, so to do that, you just get SDR Sharp, download it, I got the x64 version here just because that's what kind of operating system I'm running, just keep in mind if you're on a 32-bit, do a 32-bit, but yeah, other than that, guys, just download this, extract it, and then open it up and hit install RLT SDR. And after you get that done, a few apps should well download. But in my case, I already done it since I think I don't have to reinstall them again. It probably is just not going to do nothing. But yeah, when you double click that, just know it's going to install another application called Zadak or Zadig. Zadig, you know. But yeah, just double click that and hit yes and once it's open do you want to make sure you have well driver enforcement disabled on your computer because if you do not do that you might not be able to well overwrite the the driver on this little device in your computer but yeah with that said all you have to do now is go under options list all devices and then just look for one in this list called um RTL SDR HID. It's really obvious and you should just see it right off the back and in my case there's the name. It didn't overwrite it or nothing so yeah just look for that if you ordered this particular SDR kit and then just click that and then hit reinstall driver or well install driver in your case and pretty much after you're done doing that this thing is set up and just ready to use now. Uh, just to show you guys that this thing works, I'll fire up SDR Sharp and uh, prove it. And as you can see, if I go up here, select RTL SDR USB, which should now be a new option within SDR Sharp. You just click that and hit play. And as you can see, I got a waterfall. And if I were to go into the 100 megahertz range, I can probably find a radio station. And yeah, as you can see, it just works. So yeah, it's pretty much it for today's video. And forgive me if I kept repeating words again. Overall, this is pretty simple to set up. And when something's simple, I always tend to, well, butcher things when I talk. So forgive me. But yeah, guys, it's pretty much it for today's video. But if you have any problems, just let me know down below in the comments. And I'll try to help you out to the best of my ability. Just know this software is kind of... A little outdated so depending on your device if you got a newer one chances are you don't have to do any of these steps too well just fire it up and use your device in SDR sharp so keep that in mind if you do not buy the the kit down below that I have just um if you got your own kit or from a different vendor just try to go in under SDR sharp and see if you can just use it right out of the box before you do any of these steps because if you were to do these steps on any other kind of SDR dongle there's a chance you may actually well break it so just keep that in mind but like I said that's pretty much it for today's video guys and I really hope you all enjoyed and learned something new. DTPK signing off. Peace. 
I don't know the words for this, polarized, it's not set up to well pick up frequencies from a NOAA weather satellite. And really, I got an achievement for that? I didn't even know I could do that. Why is that a thing?